Okay, here we are, Elk Camp 2022. We got Troy. We got Skip. We got Michael coming through the door. And there you go. Alrighty, so we are ready to go. What day, what's today's date? Six. Today is the 6th of September? No, November. <laughs> All right, smartass, let's load her up and find our way to uh, Bayfield, Colorado. Well, I'm going to take the last shift driving. So we're two minutes into our trip, and we just got a call from Preston that the hideaway camp that we had signed up for in our contract, and we're in last year, and it it's studied. Not in the contract. I don't think it's in the contract. In the contract where it lists the name of the camp. I thought it did. It said hideaway. It doesn't matter. It doesn't Needless. Matter. Okay. Needless to say, I was bitchy and moany and pissy and I'm gonna go with the flow we're gonna be good we're gonna switch over to a different camp and we're gonna learn that and we're gonna have fun we're gonna have a good trip correct I'm gonna stop and get you a leaf so you can turn it over there you go so alrighty a new chapter begins well here we are home sweet home once again Miller Creek campground Mike has duly christened the outhouse. Skip is working his ass off. Troy's taking care of business with the locals. And we have, we have duly constructed our campsite. Miller Creek. Moving a little bit further to the, uh, to the north this time, Skipper's. And Mike's down there in Snoresville. Any thoughts on the end of uh, the end of day uh, day one in pre-camp? Glad to be out of the truck. Words of wisdom. Yes. Piece of bacon in there. The artists at work. I tell you, it makes for a fine morning when I got freaking wake up to bacon on the grill. You got the. Uh... What do you got for an all-purpose tool? Air channel locks. Hey, there we go. It works, it works. Can you drink coffee with that? If you have to. So this is prep day. We're going in. I figured we might do a little bit of a uh, expose on the art of putting five pounds of shit in a three pound bag. Watch in there. What now? I said watch and learn. There it's you take, go. It's gonna take a while. Not a while, but you know. Uh, 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 uh. Strategizing and planning. That's the key. Strategizing and planning. Oh, yeah. uh, and stomp on it if you have to. Stomp? Oh yeah.
Well, we have finally made it to Spike Camp. Here are the digs for 2022. Skipper's got his far away corner. We got Troy sitting here. Kind of a little warm, warm setup. Come out here. And it is very different than 2000. There's the, uh, there's the outhouse. Very different than 2021 as far as the setup. You go up over that ridge and it drops straight down. A little bit of a cook kit up. Cook kit. And here we go. They're uh, Daniel Boone and Davy Crockett. Get things set. It is 2.30. We're set up. Probably chill out a little bit and then I'm actually going to go hunting tonight. I'm looking forward to it. We've got rain moving in, but you know what? It moves fast and it moves out fast. Not quite the setup of last year, but you know what? Iowans can't be choosy. You're here just in time to watch Iowa lose. I said it. I said it. Welcome to Elk Camp 2022. Football on top of the Rocky Dump. What goes on in camp stays in camp. Yeah, it'll be on the fucking internet. <laughs> what? Don't even do what? Don't you answer texts? We have no texts. I got nothing for you. We got nothing, folks. You guys see anything? Yeah. Cut on the back side, you can get to the back side of the drop off. So we started going down that way. Then we had to come back up around. Which, which is what I said they and, would probably did. And then we had to come back up to the top of the ridge and then come back. Yeah, you were heading over towards the uh, the red top. Yeah. Well, that was a landmark. I and out. my GPS was on intermittent feed, so it was telling me nothing. I wanted to go taking back east. Till later, once I got back up to the top, then it straightened itself. But you off. made it. We're happy. Oh, we, we were kind of doing this for a while. We didn't have to come and get you. You wouldn't have found us anyway. We would. We would have made enough noise that you would have found us. I got. I got 50 rounds in my pistol. I could blow. <laughs> well, we were hoping that. Uh, we were hoping that might have happened. Glad you're home. Yep. Yeah, no, I sent you a message, uh, I sent you a message probably 6.30 and said, hit me you're, up when, you're back home, yeah. Hit me up when you guys are headed back. And oh, then, and I, then I, and forgot, I forgot to tell you and, we were headed back. And then I never, and then I never heard from you, and so then it got to be... Well, we left. Actually, that was... Left right after that text. What you been doing the last hour and a half? We've been sitting there for most of the time.
So this is what we came for. This is the top of Hanging Tree. We had a nice encounter, but of course, we have a lot to learn. Utterly freaking amazing. Utterly amazing. Doesn't matter if you get an elk or not, just being able to be up here doing what we're doing is just a mind blow. Absolutely nuts. Truly blessed. Leg cramps when you're trying to piss. <laughs> Understandable. I did not spill a drop. There you go. <laughs> so. Anyway. So we are in a spot between two reservoirs. This is Lemon Reservoir over here. And this is the reservoir, this is uh, Valacito. And as the crow flies, they're about five miles apart. But there are hills and of course, if you're actually walking, it would probably be more like 30. But we can actually see both of them from here, which I didn't really think was possible. Looking at this on the Google Earth Google. And, and, uh, and all the maps, I didn't think that we would be able to actually see both of them at the same time. It's pretty impressive. This is a nice knob. <laughs> I said knob. <laughs> And that, at the that, that pole. <laughs> you bent his pole. There we go. I bent my pole. It won't. It won't retract now. I have to leave it like this. This is a little jar that has a little notepad and a little pencil. Oops. There we go. That we put our names on there, just like the uh, predecessors before us. There's probably a dozen names or so up there. What was the earliest one? Did you see? 2019. Yeah, 2019. So. little slice of heaven. Oh, well, that should be good. All right. All right, man. I can smell the, the other stuff you put in, Andy. The zucchini and what else? Uh, hot peppers and spices. Yeah, I can smell the peppers. Oh, we got spicy, do we? Mm-hmm. It all fits. Mm -hmm. That is ecology. And, you know, I'm not a religious person, but it's pretty hard to imagine that there is not a creator. You can have faith and not subscribe to a religion. I know. Religion, but I'm just saying. Faith is, faith is what everybody has in common. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just saying that. Jew, Islam. There has to be a creator to do faith this. Is, faith is common. Religion is how people are different. <coughs> and, well, I believe this about that, and you believe that about this. And so, even though we have the same faith, you know, you're completely wrong and I want to kill you. <laughs> but I guess what is amazing is how things are connected. Everything is connected. No, I mean the mountain system. We were over there. Mm -hmm. You know, and around the ridge here, if you had walked these ridges, I mean, mm -hmm. you might walk a hundred miles to get five. Yep. Very unique um, 
is a very it's a very unique uh, exclusive uh, system. I don't believe there is you know the Rockies have the I don't think there is another mountain range like this, and so you're not going to get something like this in Europe, or, but you'll get something equally spectacular and yet different. So, two minutes from 60, this is going to be like 3%. Well, and, uh, so then if that's the case, then you still have 3% of your life left. No, I'm not backwards. talking about that. I'm talking about I, I'm um, I in the fourth it. quarter of my 78th year. <coughs> I'm not talking about how long I'm going to live. Uh, I'm not in the two-minute warning to get to 79 yet. I thought, I thought you were in the two-minute warning of your life. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. To out what oh, shit, no. Percentage, 3% of 78 is what? I'm going to start in this, <laughs> maybe the second quarter. Oh, is that it? Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe the third quarter. <laughs> Shoot this video. Troy, how do you turn this thing on? What is it? Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, oh yeah. just crank it and put the lighter up against the screen. And it'll go poof. Yeah, right. turn, turn Push the gas on until you hear it. Yeah, I just turn it till you can hear it. It's gonna a little poof, but it. So you get push in. I just turn it. Might be empty. Can't hear it. Well, there anyway. See? Um, about bitch mill, right? Well, we got rid of them, didn't we? Well, just make sure you don't go back to bitchville. Santa, Bay, Santa Fe beef skillet, which looked like that bear bomb that we saw. Mm. Just have these morels. Yeah, uh, oh, here's your three berry crumble. I think there's four of those. Mm. Well, I'm not going to get them all out. Anyway, I do think that we could, I still think we should uh, experiment with uh, smells like the food, smells like it farts. And see if we can't get blueberry crumble farts in the tent. So how many blueberry crumbles are we going to have to eat before we start farting? Well, you just eat the whole thing. I mean, that's that's just what everybody you gets have. one. That's just what you have for dinner is blueberry crumble, and then see if you know the tent smells like blueberry crumble. Well, any departing words of wisdom or? Multiple trip. Too bad we didn't shoot or see an elk. A lot of sign. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful country. The elk were a small part of it. Very small. Anything there, Troy? Yep, a wonderful time. Great scenery, good times, good fellowship. It sounds like a preacher. <laughs> <laughs> And somehow our bags aren't getting any smaller. And away we go. You're sitting, uh, what are you doing? I'm just seeing if I can track this. Picked it up. I'm just going to see if I can track this uh, walk. There we go. Through Strava. <laughs> this would be a hell of a time to uh, for you to, uh, you know, fall on your ass. Yeah. We're almost to the end. <laughs> we'll do a director's cut here and actually keep our uh, keep our feet underneath us.
Got all got the two pads, the thumb, the moving the other direction. Yeah, they're all all of them. All the ones that I've seen have been headed uphill. Watching the making of a legend. 